So I decided to push this uh, Ryobi pruning saw and use it more like a mini chainsaw. And it did pass the test. I cut uh, big logs with it. I mean, not huge, but you know, fairly big for a home environment. And you can watch the whole thing uh, towards the end of the video. It's just, uh, it's a bit maybe boring because there is no commentary. Uh, so uh, let me quickly tell you uh, a few things about this saw. It's actually pretty good, I think. So I was uh, cutting it for around, uh, you know, eight minutes or so with uh, some small breaks. It did get hot. However, it wasn't uh, anything out of ordinary and I really was pushing it. It stalled, I think, twice which is understandable. I was pushing it and it was going through some thick wood. This is uh, designed for, you know, smaller branches, you know, up to, I don't know, 10, 15 centimeter tops. Actually, 10 probably would, it's more adequate and I was uh, cutting much bigger logs and pieces of wood with it. Now, uh, what's nice about this saw, it looks good and it's well balanced. So uh, whether I use it with the small battery, it's, it's nicely balanced. And also if I use the bigger battery, which we should use the bigger battery with those uh, tools, they need uh, a lot of power. So bigger battery, high energy density battery, that's what we need to be using. It's also very nicely balanced and I was uh, really pleased with it. It was comfortable to work with it. Uh, sometimes I could use it with one hand and sometimes I was helping with uh, the other hand and I found it uh, really, really uh, cool and useful. Uh, tensioning is really uh, easy to use. I just needed to kind of figure out how it works. It was fairly quick and I could uh, get the right tension. Uh, after using it for, uh, for a bit, for a minute or two, the um, chain needed a bit of tensioning, so that was quite easy. This is normal, those chains, they do stretch, so nothing extraordinary. Now, the cool thing is, Ryobi actually included this sticker here, uh, which tells us uh, what is the part number of the chain, RAC277, uh, and uh, so that's very convenient. Also, uh, this cover is nice, and it's got some information, including 96 decibels, so I think this is useful, so we can know what to expect from it, regarding the noise and yeah it is noisy but it's nothing you know like uncomfortable I wouldn't say that I was uncomfortable uh, cutting anything using this and I don't think my neighbors uh, could complain uh, yes that may be a little bit disturbing but if I used it for 10 20 minutes or so it's not a big deal for either for me or people around me I think this uh, cover is actually very good add-on it uh, slides only one way in that's it, and I think this is actually very nice and very useful, so Ryobi made a uh, good thing adding this uh, to the saw. Tensioning the, the chain is quite easy, we use this uh, dial, so unscrew. we unscrew this first to make it loose, and then we tension it, just one click is enough, and then we screw it back to hold it in place. Job done. Regarding the trigger, uh, it's a... It's a variable speed trigger, so that's very good. And there is a lock which can be pressed from either side uh, of, the, of the handle, so that's very good. Uh, this uh, protective uh, part is also very important and very clever. So I think it did a really good job. Some things went very quickly, surprisingly. Others, they took a bit of a time, you know, but uh, this is uh, expected. Now, the, the chain uh, is pulling the, uh, the saw forward while cutting, and there is uh, this kind of a ledge, which is enough, if you have some wood, that's enough to actually rest against it. So um, it stays in place while it pulls the the log or whatever we are cutting to, towards the whole thing. So it stays in place nicely. It doesn't push it out, so there is no kickback. But uh, of course, we need to be careful. I've noticed, like with any chainsaw, I needed to be very careful in some situations and hold it with both hands and resist the temptation to use my hands to manipulate things while the, uh, the saw was working. So I'm very pleased with this and I think I can recommend the product. Uh, I bought it for 115 pounds, I think, in a promotion, and normally it's 135 or, some, or something like this. I think it's a very good uh, saw. It's probably better than the previous uh, version, which is, uh, has got the chain of 10 centimeters. Uh, so up to here, I think it's, uh, it's worth upgrading to 15. This is, I think, perfect size. 10 is slightly too small, I think, and this one was perfect for what I needed to do. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Now is a good time to press the like button, actually, and now you can stay and watch the uh, boring part, <laughs> the whole test, actually, no commentary. Thanks for watching, take care.
Okay, I have added a lot of oil. Let's see how it goes now. Okay, it's stalled first time. The battery is almost full, three. Three of those indicators uh, turned on. Stalled again. Okay. That was nice and quick, really pleased. I think it looks good. It's dirty obviously, but you know, it's done the job. That's it.